Hello friends. Well, this presentation will be all about the moment area theorem. In the previous lecture, what we have learned basically is that uh, we saw that when a beam was subjected to some kind of a transverse loading, then there was bending along the plane of symmetry and we can represent this bending by the sort form of a differential equation right that we dealt with and then we could impose boundary conditions and could find out the solution of the differential equation which is necessarily deflection as a function of x and slope as a function of x right so in, the pre in this lesson what we are going to do is that find the same out that is deflection and slope our whole objective of the moment area theorem is to find out the deflection and slope of the I should say the elastic line of the or the deflected curve of the beam right but we'll do it by not solving the differential equation but by some kind of a method which is called the moment area theorem now let us try to see what it is all about well uh, if I have let's say suppose this is my y-axis and this is my x-axis and the beam was originally aligned to this axis that is the x-axis now the beam was loaded transversely and the beam's elastic line or the deflected curve was say like this and let us say that this point is A and this point is supposed B now if you draw tangents at A and B essentially it will be like this and it, sorry. And it will be like this. And the two tangents or the angle between the tangents from A and B is equal to nothing but theta. Right. Now, if we have to draw the bending moment diagram of this portion of the elastic line, let us assume that it will be some kind of a thing like this. Right. So, for example, this is my bending moment diagram for this elastic curve. Now, let us assume that I take a small element, let's say this element, and this is of length, suppose ts. If I draw two tangents from this point, like this, and from this point, like this, the difference between the angles between these two tangents will be essentially equal to, let's say, d theta and as we know that between two points the tangent between two points if their angle if the difference of the angle is d theta then this then the same angle will be there also for the normals so if i draw a normal from here and this point essentially the difference of this angle is also like say d theta now this element is of length suppose ds and it is x distance away from let's say B now the tangent at A right the tangent at A and this point B is at a distance of let's say B B dash and the tangent at B and this point A is at a distance of let's say A A dash right and if I am to know this bending moment area of this small portion ds then essentially what I'm going to do is that let's say this is equal to nothing but this is equal to dx and this is equal to m and an integration of m into dx will basically give me this area right now or I should say the product of m into dx will give me this area now from the previous lesson what we have learned is m by ei is nothing but is equal to d theta by ds now as this is some kind of elastic line or the deflected curve which is some sort of a flat kind of a of it, it's not so, some kind of a big deflection so it will be some kind of a flat curve and essentially ds will be equal to dx or will be approximately equal to dx i should say or m by ei is nothing but is equal to let's say d theta dx or m by ei into dx is nothing but is equal to d theta so what is d theta d theta is the difference of the angle between the two tangents of this small infinitesimally small element ds 
Correct. And this is equal to nothing but m into dx, which gives me the bending moment area between the two and between basically this distance ds divided by ei.